Hello everybody, this is Clayton Crispin and uh, this is the very first Gringos Who Can Speak Portuguese of 2019. I'm laughing because yeah, I've been really busy. I had the other series here in the channel, um, How Is It Faked? and uh, other general videos and uh, but a gringos who can't speak Portuguese the very last one was last year so this is the very first one so uh, sorry for that and uh, because you know creating this this type of videos actually creating any videos here on YouTube if you want to, to create something nice uh, well produced you know it's, it's it is a, a lot of work you have to do your you have to do your search you have to prepare your content you have to script everything and um, and you have the the pre-production and then you come to, to record a video and remember all the things and then have the post-production editing anyway so I'm sorry for that so um, this no more talking to you know this uh, this gringo who can speak Portuguese if you're if you're you know reaching this video for the very first time it's a it's a series of my channel where I show some youtubers who can speak Portuguese and uh, what I'm focusing at least in these episodes uh, on, on YouTubers who can speak Portuguese because they actually were my motivation to start recording videos in English because if you can't if they can learn my, my native tongue which is not easy and record loads of good quality videos you know I, I mean I think I feel motivated to do the same and uh, if you want to know what I'm talking about I'm gonna put here in the cards the the two um, the, the playlist actually for gringos who can speak Portuguese and then you can watch the the two first episodes with Gavin and Jackie they are two Americans uh, who speak Portuguese but at this one he's not American he's a French guy called Alexei Alexei I, I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing wrong anyways and um, and he he speaks Portuguese really well. I mean, you, you most can notice any trace of Portuguese, of a French accent when he's speaking Portuguese, which is amazing, you know? I'm not saying that it's wrong you have your accent. I, 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 I know I have my accent when I speak in English. Uh, it's just, it's the only thing for, for a native speaker to listen to someone who is not a native uh, not a native Portuguese speaker, you know, speaking Portuguese with all the, the, the how can I say, all the little things, you know, all the, the little details uh, of, of, the, of the Portuguese speaking, it's amazing, you know, it's very motivating actually, you know. Uh, so yeah, so like I say, I think he, he's married with a Brazilian, and he lives in Brazil, I think, which makes things uh, easier. Uh, I mean, helped him a lot actually, you know, to learn Portuguese. If you watch the other episodes of Gringos Who Can't Speak Portuguese, uh, I tell a little bit, you know, I try to separate the, the, the series, you know, the episode in something like uh, how, uh, how, how they learned, how, how, they, how they learned Portuguese. Um, they speaking so firstly they were speaking on the native tongue all right so they were explaining in English um, how they learn Portuguese and then they speak in Portuguese and then something nice about Portuguese about their Portuguese uh, learning so just have just watch here and they'll okay in the cards you're gonna see what I'm talking about but uh, regarding this guy regarding Alexei I mean, I couldn't find any video of him speaking French. Even if he was speaking French, I wouldn't be able to translate because I don't speak French. So um, it's gonna it's gonna give him a lot of hard work to, to subtitle everything he's saying because he's speaking Portuguese all the time. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so let's start. I'm gonna watch it with you guys, and uh, we're gonna react because there are very interesting things about. So let's watch the first video. Oh! 
Olá Brasil, sou Alexis, sou francês, tudo bem? Ça va? Oui, tudo bem, va bien? O vídeo de hoje é 50 fatos sobre um francês. O francês sou eu. Eu anotei fatos, coisas, mas um monte, não sei se tem 50, acho que não, mas enfim, vamos lá. Primeiro fato, eu nasci o dia 22 de janeiro de 1980, em Nior. Lá na, na França. Eu sou like aquário. Me. Eu tenho uma filha franco-brasileira que se chama Amélie. Cucu, se é Amélie. Oh. Eu sou casado com uma carioca que se chama Carol. Olha que trabalho bonito que a gente fez. Uh. Com 16 anos eu montei uma banda de metal, hardcore, metal bem pesado. Eu nunca estudei português, eu nunca fiz a aula, eu não eu aprendi com um livrinho. Eu cozinho em casa, eu gosto de cozinhar. Joguei 9 anos em clube de futebol, 2 anos em clube de basquete, 6 dos 7 anos num clube de Aikido. Eu fiz um curso na Suíça, numa escola de fotografia, já fiz uma exposição na França, 7 exposições de foto aqui no Brasil. Vocês podem ver uh, minhas fotos no Flickr, vou deixar o link aqui embaixo, se vocês querem dar uma olhada nas minhas fotos. Wow, I mean, I'm, I'm already tired, you know, just watching him because he's, he seems a very hyperactive person, you know. And it's nice, I mean, he was saying he, he, he learned Portuguese just reading a book. Unbelievable. <laughs> The guy is amazing, seriously. I mean, uh, and he speaks really well, I mean. I can I can notice because I mean it's really it's really hard when you learn and you don't at least for me you know if you don't go to to any language classes and you don't learn the grammar for example uh, I one of my intentions this year is to learn Spanish so hold, stay tuned guys Spanish speakers because I probably gonna start posting videos in Spanish that's my aim anyways so uh, but I really need to. Um, to sit down and read a book and you know check the grammar because for me it's really hard you know learning and not doing this even though uh, my partner is Spanish but uh, I still <laughs> I don't speak Spanish anyways um, so yeah so it's unbelievable this fact about him and uh, he he was one I mean his birthday is the 20 the 22nd of January just six days before my birthday two days before my partner's birthday so All of us Aquarians, you know, so that's the nice thing about Aquarians. <laughs> anyways, I don't, I'm not too much into zodiacs and the you no know, zodiac signs, anyways, but uh, I see some, some, some things in common among Aquarians, anyways. So, uh, so let's keep watching the, the video, right? No Brasil, tinha uma banda de rock que se chamava Jokers, eu era o cantor, guitarrista. Com um vocalista francês cantando em inglês, Jokers. um álbum aqui, né? A gente tinha até uma música que passava na, na MTV. Cool, cool. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. So, the second video on his channel that I thought very interesting. It's, called, it's entitled um, How to Pronounce French um, Brands in how to pronounce French brands, the no names. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna pronounce anyways, but you guys will see. And um, it, it's, it's very nice because uh, we in Brazil, we pronounce some, some most of these brands in our own way. And uh, it became very popular, very common. Even, I mean, if you see this, these brands, the, the, the branch, the Brazilian branch of these brands in Brazil, when they, they I mean, they, they launch their the campaigns, their advertisements, and their the commercials. You know, they of course the narrator pronounces in the way Brazilians would pronounce. But uh, if you get the same brand, and you're gonna see what I'm talking about because I'm gonna post both versions that you can find here on YouTube, for example. <laughs> no, you're gonna see. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell because I'm gonna pronounce them. I'm gonna try to pronounce them, anyways. So, uh, so let's watch, all right? And I'm gonna post here again the cards, the the video that I'm talking about, all right? So let's watch together. Não é Reno, é Reno. Fala. Reno. 
Renault. Ah, bon, Renault, Renault. Renault. Non, Renault. 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 Voilà. Renault. Ah, Renault. Ça vient. Non, Renault. Renault, non, et Renault. Renault. Peugeot, Citroën. Hein Peugeot. Peugeot. Alors, il y a même une chose, non, et, et Renault, non, et non, et Peugeot et Peugeot. Peugeot. Peugeot, très bien. Peugeot. Et la seconde est Peugeot. Citroën. Cit hein Citroën. Citroën. Et Citroën. 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 Tem que fazer com a mão assim, Citroën. Com a mão assim passando, senão não consegue. Não Citroën. Citroën. Todo mundo sabe que é Michelin, porque I-N em francês você fala hein? Só que em francês não é Michelin, é Michelin. Michelin. Ah, Michelin. 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 No final. Michelin. 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 Très bien. Michelin. Um clássico esse, um clássico. Como é a loja? Leroy Merlin. Leroy Merlin. Let me fold, yeah. Uh, Leroy Merlin. It's a very popular way, and I mean, for, for years, for almost decades, we've been pronouncing Leroy Merlin. But uh, he's gonna tell what is the, the right pronunciation of this, of this brand's name. Leroy Merlin. Leroy Merlin, in français, is Leroy Merlin. Leroy Merlin. And your projects will go further. Aliás, quando eu cheguei no Brasil, alguém me falou de Leroy Merlin, não sabia o que, que era. Qual supermercado você conhece? Carrefour. Carrefour. Em francês é Carrefour. 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 Não Carrefour. It's also Carrefour. very popular uh, Carrefour. supermarket in Brazil. Eu queria explicar que Carrefour quer dizer cruzamento, tá? Pra quem não sabia a palavra Carrefour. Decathlon. Decathlon. Ah, é igual? Decathlon. Ah, they have here in Ireland Decathlon. 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 Então é no final. Decathlon. Decathlon. Isso. Agora a marca. Bic. Bic é Bic. Não Bic. Bic. É francesa? É francesa. Não sabia. É francesa. Eu não sabia que é francesa. Uau, that's cool. Carf Carrefour is, is a supermarket. It's a very popular in Brazil. Uh, in São Paulo, I remember the first brand. The first branch, I think, was built in 1998. 1988, actually, the, the, the end of, of the 80s. And, um... Le Roi Merlin. <laughs> I, I, was, I was amazed, seriously, because I have no idea that that was the, the right pronunciation. So that's why I put here the, the, the video. Important, the, the, that video, it's from the brand. It's for Le Roi Merlin Brazil. Le Roi Merlin Brésil. I don't know how you guys pronounce Brazil anyways. I don't want to I don't want to piece French people anyways because I know they don't like me when, when you don't pronounce properly anyways. <laughs> so uh Le Roi Merlin uh, so that video was from the official Le Roi Merlin in Brazil and then the Le Roi Merlin in France. So they are both official channels of the same company, but you see they they had to change the pronunciation guys because I think that's the the spirit of the market, you get closer to to your audience. So don't try. If 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 the name got very popular, the way Brazilian is pronounced, Leroy Leroy Merlin, that's the way it is. You know. But uh, you guys, Brazilians, if you're going to to France, be notice. It's not Leroy Merlin. It's Le Roi Merlin. All right. And I'm probably pronouncing wrong. So in this video, they are talking. They are uh, they are talking about many uh, things many i would say uh common legends or stereotypes about uh about french people and what is what it's true for what it's just to you know uh, i would say a lie but it's just um um a stereotype way of thinking anyways but uh, one of the things that grab my attention that are separated because there are loads of questions they are answering you know uh alexei and more two um french guys a couple who speak who speak um who speak portuguese so um they are answering those questions i think from from their for them fans anyways and uh this question is about why uh why french people don't like to speak english so let's see let's watch together porque os franceses não gostam de falar inglês ah, já primeiro é verdade é um pouco um é. pouco, é verdade. Na França, se você imita o sotaque em inglês, é uma vergonha. É. Se você tenta imitar o, o sotaque de verdade do inglês falado, você é tipo... 
Uma pessoa que vai falar inglês com um sotaque perfeito vai, vai ser percebido como pessoa que se acha. Que se acha. Que se acha. Eu acho que aqui é o contrário. Aqui tem que ajudar o sotaque. Também Você... tem em relação ao fato que a Inglaterra é o grande rival da França. Ou mais de os Estados Unidos, acho que a gente gosta mais dos ingleses que os americanos na França. É, não? acho que, que, é acho que nós odiamos os dois. <risos> Não, mas é, tem um, um negócio de rivalidade com ingleses e americanos. Eu acho que uh, quem não fala bem inglês na França uh, tem vergonha de falar, simplesmente. Mesmo não, se conseguir não. se virar, se ele não falar bem, ele não vai falar porque é. ele tá com vergonha de não falar bem e é. ser achado uma pessoa inferior, talvez. Eu me lembro quando, last year, quando eu fui para o Brasil, e eu tive que fazer um stopover em Paris, então so minha flight foi Dublin. Dublin, Paris, Paris, São Paulo. And uh, it was my very first time in France, my very first time in Paris. And um, I was really afraid because I had to speak, I had to communicate, I had to answer anything. And I was af really afraid to speak in English there because I know, I mean, we have this, this impression that French people don't like to speak English. So that's the reason, and one of the things they were explained. But at least that in the airport, uh, Charles, de, Charles de Gaulle, Charles de Go Char Anyways, the airport. <laughs> no, the staff they speak they speak in English. Actually, when I showed my passport, some of them they they replied in Portuguese saying uh, "your pass passaporte" or uh, "obrigado," "oh oh brasileiro," "bem-vindo." So they were nice. Actually, that was really nice. They they know some some words in Portuguese, which is really cool. Oh, thank you, thank you, Paris, thank you, France, for being so nice because I felt quite welcome anyways but I was afraid I was afraid to, to have to speak speak more than some basic words anyways and it's funny because people who speak in English in France if they they really have a good accent I mean an English accent it would sound like if they were if they are arrogant they're not full of themselves in Brazil it's the opposite because I think I've, I have already shown in my previous video Uh, that I didn't use to like my accent that actually in the beginning um, people, especially native English speakers they thought I was French actually because I had a very peculiar <laughs> way to to soften my my speaking when I was trying to pronounce some words in English so I was doing this in a very soft way and uh, which probably for them sound kind of French, you know, but I don't speak French, you know, the only thing I say is bonjour. <laughs> no, I say uh, bonsoir, comment ça va, but I'm probably not pronouncing this correctly anyways. Yeah, maybe that's the reason some many, um, some some French who speak, who speak, um, who speaks in English, they have a very thick, a very thick French accent, but not all of them. I have some friends here in Ireland, French friends, and they, their English are amazing. I can't notice any trace of French accent anyways. Yeah. So that's it, guys. That's the video. That's the Gringos Who Can Speak Portuguese today. So if you like the video, don't forget to, subs don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. You know, these three, these three things are very important, you know, to, to make this, this channel grow. And this way I can can give you guys more quality products, you know. I'm trying to, to you know to rearrange things you guys can see it's a different scenario now. So I'm really trying to bring something nice to show to show to you guys, alright? And uh, I can't promise when it's gonna be the next time I'll be recording Gringos Who Can Speak Portuguese because as I said it's requiring a lot of research. And um, but I I'm gonna I keep stay tuned and you know, stay tuned that I'm, there are more videos. We will, we, will, uh, we will upload more videos. If not about Gringos who can speak Portuguese, general things. I'm talking, I'm trying to create more videos also, do not just, do not general things, do not without a huge editing or special effects. So, um, but I also, do not try to express my opinions about many things. You guys, if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, I put, I'm posting all my videos in English in this playlist. Okay, so videos in English, so, everything bring us who can speak portuguese how is it faked general videos okay so that's it for today guys see you in the next video take it easy take good care bye bye